You know, my time here with the Hawks has been amazing. I feel like we've become a close-knit family over these years of fighting. You can say that again. You know, Guts, I still hate you. But you've grown on me. It's like I love to hate you. Uh, thanks. Guts, you are a true friend of mine. I've been with the Hawks my entire life. I think of every one of you as my family. <laughs> bah! Everyone getting all sentimental. Well, I happen to hate Guts and everything he stands for. Oh, oh Corcus. Oh, Corcus. <laughs> well, I couldn't agree more with Guts. We're all one big family. And Griffith is the mother. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Derek. Uh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Quit messing around, Guts. You know Derek. I absolutely 100% do not know this man. He's been with the Hawks the entire time you have. We picked him up on the same day. Uh... What about that time you and Derek ended up in that swamp and I had to pull the two of you out? Um... What about that time you, me, and Derek all broke off from the camp and went fishing that day? Hmm... That time I called you a bastard and Derek decked me in the face? I thought that was me! That time you and Derek saved me from those aggressive male aggressors? That happens like twice a week! Look, I have never seen this man before in my life. Is this some kind of sick joke? <sighs> Do you remember? It was right after the Battle of Dredgen Castle. Right at the start of the war. I lost some buddies and I, uh, blamed you. So in the after party, I picked a fight. <laughs> I wish I knew what I was getting myself into. <laughs> and as the fight broke out into the woods, I beat your arm to get you off me. It was all I could do. And just when I thought I'd finally pushed you too far, <laughs> yeah, you stopped. And we started laughing. The whole thing was so stupid. Covered in mud, bloodied and bruised. <laughs> so we just sat there by the lake. You told me about how you ended up with the Hawks to begin with. I told you about my dream of owning a chain of seafood restaurants across the kingdom. <laughs> and you told me the fact that our ambiguously late medieval society doesn't have refrigeration solutions would cause all sorts of fish to spoil. Within hours before we even got it away from the coast. We talked about the war. We talked about the future of the band of the Hawk. You told me you secretly hated Rickett. <laughs> and you told me about your developing crush on Casca. And, f and finally, you told me that Griffith had said m m about friendship. And about how you wanted more than anything to become Griffith's equal, his friend. And I told you, time and time again, Griffith has risked his life, his dream to save your stupid ass. The man adores you. You're like a brother to him. Had goddamn naked water fights with the man, for Christ's sakes. If you were ever to leave, I think the whole man's world would crumble around him. I told you, he'd be lost. We... We would all be lost without you if you left, Guts. Do you remember? Everyone's looking particularly sullen this evening. It's not like you lot at all. We're starting to think that Guts might have hit his head a little too hard in battle. <laughs> as much as I would love to stay and talk about Guts's mental issues, as infinitely amusing as they are to me, I'm afraid I have rather urgent business. In fact, I need my right-hand man for a very important task. Just tell me where to swing my sword and how hard, Griffith. I... I'm sorry, Guts. Not you. For this task, I require the very able hands of Derek. Besides... We all know you're far too important to me. Why, if anything were ever to happen to you, I might just... Never mind that. Come on, Derek. Sure thing, Griffith. Guts. You and Guts aren't fighting again, are you? You're worse than him and Casca. Well, that completely killed the mood. Come on, guys! Let's go drown squirrels in the drinking water! Medieval times are fun! Oh! Shotgun holding its legs! So, uh... You wanna go grab a beer? What the hell is your deal? <laughs>